Monkey Monkey Convention. For the next two days, these three kids will have to hide a celebrity in their house. One of their parents will be helping them, but the other one will have no idea what's going on. If the kids manage to keep the celebrity hidden from their unsuspecting parents, they'll not only be hiding heroes, they'll also win themselves a load of brilliant prizes. So let's get hiding. Cue titles. <laughs> and welcome to another blistering instalment of Hyder in the House. This week, we're in sneaky Surrey. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. Today's celebrity Hyder is a massive star of CBBC. So in honour of that, we're also going to be dressed as massive CBBC stars. I am Barry Chuckle, as you can probably tell, the better-looking one of the Chuckle brothers. To me, to you, to me, to you. And Joel, well... He said he's working on his disguise, and he said it's absolutely amazing, so I can't wait to see it. And he said he should be here any moment now. Here he is. Hiya, JK. Sorry I'm late. Mate, what have you done to your head? What have I done? I've just had my disguise work finished. Disguise? What? No, 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 my disguise work. I've just had it finished. You see, JK, underneath these bandages, I've got the latest in disguise technology. I've spent 18 hours in surgery, had my chin done, got new teeth, a lovely button nose, and a bit of lippy. The transformation! Oh, it's incredible! OK, then, let's have a look. What do you think? Who are you meant to be? Who am I meant to be? Oh, I'm meant to be Joel from CBC's JK and Joel. I think it's amazing, isn't it? Have a look at the likeness. Look, it looks more like me than that looks like me. Oh. It's ridiculous. I tell you what, I'm going to go back to the van. When you grow a brain, you come and find me, OK? Oh, take it you don't like it, then. <laughs> Who do I get to be, then? Well, fortunately, I've got another Chuckle Brothers costume here. There you go. Oh, brilliant. Can I be the good-looking one? Oh, no. I get to be Barry. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So, this is Mission Headquarters. This is where it all happens. The laptops and the monitors are connected to cameras in this week's family's home, so we can watch all the action as it unfolds. Our top team of research minds have compiled all the information we need to know about this week's family. In fact, we know them inside out, upside down, back to front and sideways. Without further ado, let's meet them. Hmm, <laughs> house looks normal enough, but what about the family in it? Ah, that's a different story. Meet the Delaney's. First up, it's ten-year-old Eleanor. I'm Eleanor! I'm loud, I'm proud, and I never run out of energy! Whoa! Luckily, ten-year-old cousin Jessica is much more relaxed. Hi, I'm Jess and I love sleeping. <gasps> So while she's getting her beauty sleep, meet 12-year-old Olivia. Hi, my name's Olivia. When I grow up, I'm going to be a CBBC presenter. Hi, this is Big Kids. Back to the studio. Actually, it's back to Mum and Dad. Hi, I'm Mum and I'm a hairdresser. Hi, I'm Dad, and apparently I snore. Oh, dear. So, JK, which parent will we be hiding from this week? Hang on, I've written a poem here. Wait there. Um, <clears throat> it makes me oh so very glad to tell you that this week it's... Dad! I just hope Dad doesn't get suspicious and start asking questions, cos I really won't know what to say. Ah, we're dealing with one smart cookie here. Dad's literally got eyes in the back of his head. We're never going to be able to keep him in the dark. Ah, but you're forgetting about our trusty secret weapon. Big Kids. <laughs> Dad thinks all the cameras are here to film a fake TV show called Big Kids, where grown-ups get to be kids and kids get to be grown-ups. He thinks that while he's out and about learning to do kids stuff, the kids are at home learning to do boring stuff like gardening and washing up. Yeah, as if. 
With the help of Mum, they'll actually be hiding a real-life celebrity right here in their house. You know what, JK? That just might work. Yep, and to make sure our plan goes like clockwork, we've even got a presenter for our fake TV show, Meet Kate. Her mission is to get Dad out of the house and make him do as many silly things as possible, all in the name of Big Kids. So can the kids and Mum keep their celebrity hidden and win themselves loads of lovely prizes? It's time to find out, my friends. Let's get hiding. So then, as I told you today, we are disguised as CBBC stars in honour of our mystery celebrity hider today, who is just over here, dressed as a raven from Raven. Hello, mystery hider. Hi, are you all right? Any idea who that is? Do you recognise the voice, maybe? You will find out when we get to the house. Let's go! The kids are waiting upstairs. They've got no idea that they're about to play hider in the house. Meanwhile, two metres below, Mum is distracting Dad with some boring adult conversation. It's up to us to get our hider in without Dad noticing. The pressure is on. Dad's just in there. Mum's got to keep him talking. If he sees us and a giant raven in his house, the game will be over before it's begun. Right, we're in. Let's hope he doesn't hear us. Wow, we're just 1.5 metres or one jolt from the room where Dad is. We've got to be quiet going up the stairs. Okay, he's doing up. Yeah, a little bit of painting. Yeah. A bit of paint, yeah. Painting? Oh, boring. Let's clean this up. <laughs> Dad is so close. If we make a sound, he'll hear us for sure. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> you have to be quiet, because obviously Mum and Dad are still downstairs. Now, don't worry. We're not the Chuckle Brothers. I'm not Barry. He's not Paul. We are, in fact, JK and Joel. What show do we present? Hi, Hi, house. House. Oh, yeah. A bit down. Just downstairs. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So, what do we need right now? Hider. Right, do you want to meet your celebrity hider? Yeah. yeah. Right, little hider chant then. Remember, keep it down. Hider, 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 hider. Any ideas? Haven't got a clue. Do you want to have a look? Start of Tracy Beaker, it's Danny Harmer. Name Danny Harmer, famous for... We're playing Tracy Beaker, a lovable but yet feisty teenager who lives in a care home. Hide her strength. I've been playing Tracy Beaker for six years now and she's always getting herself into trouble and has to hide a lot, so I think I'll be all right. Special hider move. The actor factor. Hider Warriors. The family are massive Tracy Beaker fans, so I'm going to have to be in disguise at all times. Strange but true. I used to have an imaginary friend called Philip. Hider ability. 178.4. Anthony um, watches TV with the kids quite a lot, and he definitely knows Tracy Beaker. He will recognise her straight away. Wow, so Dad's a huge Tracy Beaker fan. Keeping Danny hidden is going to be super tough. Yes. Well, I'm excited. Olivia, are you excited? Yeah. All right, Jess, are you a big fan of Danny? Yeah, I watch it every day. You love Tracy Beaker, don't you? Yeah. Number one fan. And Eleanor, have you got the skills to hide a celebrity in your house? Yes. Right, I'm a big fan of Tracy Beaker as well. And do you want to play a challenge? Yeah. Challenge number one, it's in the back garden, so what I need somebody to do is keep Dad away from the back garden. Who can do that? They've got to be mischievous, they've got to be daring. Olivia. You've got all the skills, yeah? Yeah. So, you're going to do something really exciting for us? Yeah. And make Dad not come anywhere near the garden? Yes. Right, OK, you get down there, you go and distract Dad for us, and then we'll come downstairs when you've done that. Right, good luck. <laughs> so, Olivia's plan is to get Dad up to the attic so that we can get out into the garden to play our first challenge. Here she goes. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. She looks nervous. Oh, let's hope she can do it. Dad? Can you come and help me set up the Scalectric thing? Can I do it yourself? No, I need your help. All right, OK. Brilliant. He's fallen for it. Is it, bro is it broken or something? I don't know. I don't know what pieces go where. What? OK. Which one are you using? Up there, you know, the mini car one. The mini car one? Yeah, come here. Wow! Did you see that? 
Dad was so close to Danny, he could probably smell her. Oh! Why are you doing this? Because we need it. You need it to work? Me and Jessica now want to play with it. You, you feel want to play that one? Yeah, uh, I can't say that. They're right above us in the attic. Oh, let's go. Quick! Come on, Joel! Well done, Olivia. Top level distracting. Keep it up. All right, so far so good. Olivia is just up there. She's distracting Dad, so we have to keep the noise level very low. Hey, before we start, can I introduce you to someone very special? Mm. All the way from Italy, my Italian Nana. Come on in, Nana. Joe, you're not Italian. No, no, I'm not. Anyway, could you be part of the game? Maybe. So I suppose she could be an obstacle or something like that. You promise you're not pulling my leg? No, no, no. That's your Nana. Can I have a cup of tea? Danny can't start her day without her beaker of herbal tea. So to keep her happy, the kids and mum will have to fill up her beaker from these buckets. But they will have to get past this tricky obstacle course and Joel's nana. Oh, and we'll be spinning them around before they go. Oh yeah, and to make them look super silly, we've dressed them as tea ladies. <laughs> so then, they've got three minutes to fill the beaker right up to the top. And if they do that, they will win these exclusive hide of goodies. It's time to play Tracy Beaker's Big Tea Beaker in three, two, one. Jess, look up the spoon. Here we go. Keep going round, round. Right, go, go, go. Come back. Come on, come back. You want a cup of tea? Go on. Five. OK, get your hands. Oh, it's not a good start. They're going to have to move faster than this if they want to win the prizes. Let's hope things are going better upstairs. Right, there. Phew. Dad seems happy playing in the attic for now. Let's hope Olivia can keep him there. Right, get yourself a bit. Get yourself a bit of tree going there. Go on, get it right. That's it, that's it. Right, that's it. Come on, just get, jump over there. Jump over there. That's it, jump. That's it. Oh, that's it. And right, that's it. Jessica's got her tea in the beaker. Can she do it? Chuck it, chuck it in there. You've got to get it. Get it right in. Go on. Oh, oh no, she's totally missed. Let's have a look at that again. Oh, my nan could do better than that. We're over 30 seconds in. The beaker's nowhere near full, and Eleanor's moving at snail's pace. Come on! Where'd you go? Under. Come on, Eleanor! You've got to get the tea in the beaker. Bring yourself up. Hold it, right? Go on, go, go, go. <laughs> no, no! You're not supposed to throw the bucket. What are you doing, girl? No, no, no. <laughs> She's done it again. Unbelievable. We're over a minute in and the beak is practically empty. Remember, it's supposed to be filled to the top in order to win the prizes. Top celebrity Danny Harmer's not impressed. I said, get the end there. The end. The end. Let's hope Mum can save the day. Yes! Mum got some tea in the beaker. And another. They could still do it. Oh, no. Up in the attic. Even Olivia's getting bored. They won't be staying there for much longer, I reckon. Go, go, into, in, in you go, into the top, into the top, into the top. Go on, right, go on, at the end. Jessica's got to get her tea in the beaker. Oh, oh no! Try that one, try that one. Go on. Oh. Go on, go on, ready, steady, go! Oh. oh, she's got some in, but it's still nowhere near full, and time is running out. Oh, come on! Where were we? Oh, yeah, spin it, go. One, two, look it up, man. Eleanor got no tea in the beaker last time, but can she do better this time? Good luck. One, two, one, go. Oh, that was rubbish. Oh. Do you want the prizes or not, Eleanor? All right, don't let go of the bucket. All right, that's brilliant. Right, get that. Oh, no. Just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, Mum's stuck. This is a disaster. Let's check on Dad. Is he still upstairs? You're not getting too far, are you? Do you know what? They're not getting far in the garden either. Mum's out, but the beaker is nowhere near full. And there's only 30 seconds left. Ah! Mum did well last time, but can she get a tea into the beaker again? Hey, where are you off? Where are you off? Hey. No, no. Dad's really bored upstairs. Olivia can't keep him there for much longer. Oh, oh this family of the worst throwers I've ever seen. Got to look at that again. Oh, yeah, look! She got her right in the face! Joel, that's not the point of the game. It's not? Oh, sorry. All right, the time is running out. In ten, ah. nine, eight, seven, on, quick. six, quick. five, four, three, two, two one. Stop the clock. Ah. 
kids, Mum, that was disastrous. Look at that. Not even up to thirsty. That was awful. Kids, you've lost the prizes. Oh. It's just upstairs. <laughs> there is one way how you could get those prizes back. Kids, know how we could get those prizes back? Pooping. <laughs> Nana, have you got an old pair of tights? Good. Let's play Suck Nana's Tights. This is going to be good. Once every show, our celebrity gets a chance to win back the prizes they've lost in a previous challenge. And they've got to do it by taking the forfeit. This week, Danny's forfeit is to suck smoothie through Nana's old tights. Are you ready for this, Danny? I think so. It's time to suck Nan's tights. 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 There's a bit left. There's some left, ready? Yes! It's all gone, which means Danny has won the prizes back to you. Yes! Well, listen, Kate is going to be here any moment, which means Dad has to come downstairs. There's a lot of mess here. You have to tidy this mess up, and then you've got to hide a very messy Danny. We're going to go back to the van, and we'll watch from there. Good luck, everyone. Dad's still in the attic waiting for Kate. He'll come downstairs as soon as she arrives. Tidy up quick. Kate's going to be here any second to collect Dad. Kate, okay, where are you going to hide me? Oh, no, Kate's arrived. As soon as she rings that doorbell, Dad will come downstairs. Oh, there we go. He's on the move. You've got to get Danny hidden. Dad's about to come downstairs. Hide quickly. <coughs> wow, did you see that? Dad turned around. He would have seen Danny for sure if she hadn't hidden in time. Hello. Hi, Hello, Dad. Kate. Hello there. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Come on, let's go for our first day on Big Kids. Okay. Come on, quickly. That was so close, but Kate's whisked Dad away to film our fake TV show, Big Kids. Remember, Dad thinks he's filming a show called Big Kids. This is where kids become adults and adults become kids. So Dad's about to take up the kids' hobby in preparation for a performance tomorrow. And it's bound to make him look really silly. Brilliant. Hi, I'm Kate, presenter of Big Kids. And this week, Dad's challenge is to become an actor. What? You're going to be performing the four stages of childhood. Your face makes me feel positive inside. You're going to be a little baby all the way through to a teenager. A stroppy, moody, horrible, angry teenager. I hate you! Oh, dear. Don't worry, though, Dad. Acting like a big kid's fun. You should know. You live with this lot. It's time for Challenge 2. <laughs> So the kids and Danny will have to literally throw themselves into this one. Hang on. Why are they all dressed like my dad? They're dressed as dart players, you fool. Oh. Anyway, Danny's Tracy Beaker doll has been surrounded by five nasty bully dolls. So it's up to our Fantastic Four to knock the bullies down with their foam darts. But they've only got two darts each and one bonus dart between them. If they manage to beat the bullies and save the Tracy Beaker, they'll win these inflatable goodies. Now, great conditions for darts today. There's no rain, probably because we're indoors. But I believe there is something missing here. We need some tension, so, um... Ah. These are a selection of Mum and Dad's favourite ornaments. So I'm going to place them precariously on the side of the dart table. That way, if there's a miss, it potentially means more mess. Ha, 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 ha! Job. Right, kids, are you ready to win some prizes? Yeah! Right, Danny, up to the hockey. You're going first. Now, Danny, eight darts, two throws apiece, five bullies, and a Tracy Beaker doll. Right, remember, take your time. OK. Right. Oh! That's one down. Let's see that again. That bully's bouncing. Next up, Olivia. Off you go. Right then, kids. Go on. Come on. Oh, the crowd are going wild! Yeah, it's a great start! Back of the line. She's definitely got her eye today. Right then, little girl, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, yes, you risked it. You missed it. Let's see that again. Remember, they can't lose this challenge. They've already used up their forfeit, so if they lose this, it'll be a prize free zone. Take your time, take your time. No pressure, no pressure. 100 on the mark. Non-playing ground. Go on. Oh, 
Oh, no! That was nowhere near. That's another dart lost. Now, remember, they've only got two darts each and the bonus dart between them. She's going to be going home with nout at this rate. Joel. Four darts left, three bullies. Now, you need to get this, right? Come on, then, let's give it some... 101 or more. Okay. OK, stay away from Tracy Beaker. Oh! oh I almost had a heart attack then. Oh! <laughs> That went straight through the legs. That was so close. Here's the situation right now. Three darts left, three bullies, and the bonus dart, which we don't want to have to use. All right? So, if you get one of these down, we're looking good. Come on, Come on. Oh! <laughs> she did it! But can Jessica do as well? Hey, can she do it, kids? Oh, no! What a double whammy! She hit JK and a pot smashed! Oh, and to top it all off, oh. Dad's almost finished his acting class. Ah, that's a great facial expression for, the, for that one. Even Poor Dad, that. he's working so yeah, hard and he has no clue that it's all a wind-up. Yeah, is it where um, Mum! 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 That's not bad at all. But things are really bad back at the house. Can Eleanor save the day? Now, this is still possible here. We have one dart and the bonus dart. How many is that in total? Two. Two, right. How many bullies we got? Two. So we can do this, yeah? Yep. Can we do this, kids? Yes! OK, now, you've got to get this one, yeah? Take your time. Take your time. Let's do this, Eleanor. Oh, no, it's a disaster. She missed. <laughs> so there are two bullies left and one dart. Oh, so close. She'd be better off playing with her eyes closed, with dark throwing like that. <laughs> it still might be possible. <laughs> I have a bonus dart. I have the red bonus dart here. This bonus dart does magical things, but I don't know if you can knock that one down and fly around the corner and knock the other one down. But you never know, on this show, anything is possible. Who is your nominated dart player? Olivia. Olivia, definitely. Olivia. Go on, you can do it. Get it. I fly around, Olivia. Olivia, step Olivia. up to the hockey. Now, remember, we're avoiding Tracy Beaker and we've got to get two down with this one. Can she do it, girls? Yes! I don't think she can. Oi! Oh, it's all over. There's only one word for that dart throwing we've seen today and that word is rubbish. I hate to be the one to tell you. You haven't won the prizes. Oh. JK. Joel, but um, the good news is, girls, I'm going to help you tidy up, especially these very precious ornaments of Mum and Dad, so... <laughs> On second thoughts, I'll leave you to it. That's two challenges failed, and there's no time to commiserate. Dad will be back really soon, so tidy up, quick! Luckily for the kids, Mum's keeping an eye out for Dad while they tidy up. Oh, no! Dad's back! Oh, quick, Mum! Kids, quick! Dad's home! Hi, da Danny in the attic, quick! Quick! Danny in the attic, quick! Dad's home! Oh, okay. <laughs> that was very exciting, Kate. <laughs> Brilliant! Mum's gone out to distract Dad. I not believe what I've been up to. Hi, Let's hope she can hold him off. <laughs> quick, kids! Get Danny up to the attic! No. Did you have anything to eat? You must be starving. Yeah, you're Doing a good job, Mum. <gasps> oh, no! They're coming in! Okay. The kids can't make a sound. Yeah. Later. OK. OK, see you Bye. later. Great, Great Thanks a lot. Day. OK. Danny's hidden in the attic. Let's hope Dad doesn't go upstairs. Some hectic day, I tell you. Sit down and see. I'll make you a cup of tea. He's gone into the kitchen. Mum's got to keep him there and not give the game away. Down, then. Are you hungry? No. no. What do the kids do? Shall I give you a sandwich and a cup of tea? A little bit of a sandwich. Ah, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> what do the kids do? Shall I give you a sandwich and a cup of tea? A little bit of a sandwich. Mum used the old ignore the question and distract with food technique. Top hider skills, Mum. 
Let's hope she can keep it up and keep Dad away from the attic while the kids hear about their next challenge. Oh, come on in! One, two, three. Time for my favourite bit of the show. So I reckon, girls, you might want to win some more prizes right now. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> You've each got to get Dad to do a task without him realising it's a game, otherwise it's all over. First up is going to be you, Olivia. You've got to get Dad to perform a dance. Do you reckon you can do that? Yep. Is he a good dancer? No. Is he really embarrassing when he dances? Yes. Most dads are, don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica, you're next. You've got to get Dad to smell an item of Danny Harmer's clothing. How are you going to do that? Um, I'll think of something else. All right, fair enough. I believe in you. Eleanor, I haven't forgotten about you. Your mission is to get Dad to say Tracy Beaker. Any ideas? I don't know. I'll think of something. Good. That sounds hard, that girl's, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But we've got to do it. Yes. Now, remember, Danny will move in five minutes, so no time to waste. You up for it? Yeah. Right, go and do it. We're watching from here. Good luck. Go on, off you go. Now, this challenge is going to be super hard. Danny is still hiding in the attic, but actresses are very stroppy, and if she's left for longer than five minutes, she will walk. So, they'll have to get Dad to do and say all of the things ultra quick. Now, remember, he has to do a dance, say Tracy Beaker, and smell an item of Danny's clothing. And if the kids do all of those, they'll win these brilliant books. Right, Jessica is going straight upstairs to get an item of Danny's clothing. Can I? Guess or I can't guess. Olivia and Eleanor are off to the kitchen to see Dad. Let's hope he doesn't suspect. Okay. It looks like Jessica has an item of Danny's clothes. Yeah, good fun, though. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. This is so boring. They've got to get a move on. Danny will leave if she's left in the attic for longer than five minutes. Oi, where are you, the little princess? Toilet. Yeah? Dad, yeah. did you used to go to nightclubs? Oh, it looks like Olivia's making an attempt. About 20 years ago. No, you go nightclubs every week. He showed me a dance move. I can't see any dance moves, girl, because I'll probably Let's do my back in if I do a dance move. Oh, no, he's got to do it. Otherwise, the kids will lose another challenge. Did you, can you do that? Just do the little that wiggle thing? that we used to do. What, the old, uh, uh, oh, no, I can't do the worm in there. What can you do? That... The old wall and that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I can't do that anymore. Oh, no, he's not going to do it. Do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, if you can start, you start with me. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 he's getting up. Will he do it? I think you've got to do it this way. Will he? Interlock, interlock. Ready? 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 Yes! He's done it! Wow, I'm loving that move. Hey, check this out. Do you know what? Right. That is absolutely brilliant. Really? No. No, no, no. Dad? Yeah? Do you know my favourite programme? That would be Tracy Beaker. <laughs> Eleanor makes it look easy. He said Tracy Beaker. Yeah, but Dad doesn't know that the actress who plays Tracy Beaker has been stuck in the dark attic for two minutes. Now, remember, Danny will walk out if she's left there for longer than five minutes. Jessica's still got to get Dad to smell an item of Danny's clothes. Can she do it? Yesterday morning, when I was getting my socks, I found one of Olivia's in it. Look. Oh. It stinks, smell it. I don't want your cheesy food in me. Go on, smell it. Smell, it. smell the sock, Dad. Smell the sock. I think it was just... Oh. Where'd you get it from? It's mine. It's my drawer. And that's all three. They've finally passed the challenge. Now they need to go upstairs and get Danny. Hang on, hang on, hang on, what's this? Now, listen to me. I'll, I'll keep looking around this house and there's things been going on in this house and I don't know what's been going on. Nothing. Nothing? You sure? Nothing. I've been playing, watching TV. But anyway, we're going to head upstairs to play a game, aren't we, Olivia? Yeah. Okay. Off we go, then. Um, we're going to try and do that school. We're going to play hide and seek. Yeah. They got away with it for now, but Dad's getting very suspicious. They've got to be ultra careful. We'll just talk. Right, that's enough for one day. Let's get Danny back to the van. Right, you call the kids then, send them a video message, and I'll go and get you a disguise. <laughs> Hi, kids, it's JK. It's time for your final challenge of the day. You need to get Danny back to the van from out of the house, and whilst you're doing that, I'll distract Dad at the front door. Deal? All right, get Danny back here. Be ready. Come on, let's go. <laughs> So it's up to the kids to get Danny out of the house without Dad seeing her. 
And our very own master of disguise, JK, is on hand to distract Dad. This week, he's dressed as uh, a really badly dressed person. If the kids can smuggle Danny out of the house without Dad catching them, they'll win these board-tastic board games. Here goes JK to distract Dad. He's got to get Dad away from the front door so the kids can get Danny out. This is his toughest challenge yet. Oh, and see, can you get the door? And see, can you get the door? Right, the kids have got Danny out of the attic and Dad's going to the door. But if he watches Hydra in the house every week and he recognises JK, oh. it's game over. <clears throat> we just did a bit of work up the road. Yeah. Very strange request. I've got a couple of tea bags, have you? We're willing to pay if you've got any. Tea bags? Oh, oh JK, you're a genius. Three of us. You do three tea bags, mate. That would be absolutely spot on. I've got a bit of cash. No, no, that's all right. All right. Oh, bless you, mate. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Right, I'll you, mate. That's it. He's going to the kitchen. Move, quick. <laughs> some, some of that free bag. Free, one's free tea bags. Oh, yeah. Just free tea bags. Seems to be enough left for us if you give him some tea bags. There's hundreds of tea bags. Oh no! He's got the tea bags! He's coming back! Get out! Wow, that was so close. Now JK's got to get out of there before Dad recognises him. Oh, that was. See you later on. Thank you. Oh, phew, JK did it. Now get back to the van. Oh, hang on, what's this? The bloke looks familiar. Does he? It reminds me of somebody, but I don't know who it is. Sit down. Oh, no. Has he recognised JK? Oh, don't worry. It's probably a tramp or something. No, it's not. A tramp? Oh, don't worry. It's probably a tramp or something. Thanks a lot, Mum. Huh? Dad's very suspicious. We're going to have to be ultra careful tomorrow. No, I didn't recognise him. I'll tell you what, while that lot head back to the van, why don't you check out what we got away with today? Now, where do I start? Danny got wet, Mum got stuck, the kids failed two challenges, then they won two. We made Dad look really silly. Danny hid behind the stairs in the attic and the kids threw darts and Dad nearly recognised me. Phew. And we're only halfway through. Right, guys, it doesn't stop here. Tomorrow, another big day for you. So I think it's time to go home and get some sleep. Remember, keep Dad in the dark. He doesn't need to know a thing. If he does, it could be all over. Are you up for tomorrow? Yeah! Do you want to win more prizes tomorrow? Yeah! All right, off you go. Night, night. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm filming some more big kids tomorrow as well, so I need an early night. So, guys, should we go? Yeah? yeah. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Night, night. Night, night. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Night, night. Night, night. So, guys, what are we doing tonight then? Cinema, bowling, ice skating? What do you fancy? No, to be honest with you, we just usually go to sleep. What? But uh, it's still early. Uh, actually, JK, Danny has got a really good idea there. We should actually do something while we've got the time. Hang on, I've got a brainwave. Why don't we watch my movie that I starred in, award-winning this, The Determinator? You made a movie. You were in a film. Let's stick it on. Let's watch it. Come round, come round. Come on, this is brilliant. Come on, get round. You are going to love this. I am the Determinator. Ow! <laughs> Award winning! Is that it? Yeah, I mean, we didn't have a big budget, so we just kept it simple. Yeah, simply awful. Should we watch it again? I'll show you the best part. Do you know cause... what? That film was so good that it's uh, kind of tired me out a bit. I think I'm just going to go to sleep, actually. It's funny that you should say that, Danny, because it has the same effect on most people. It's day two of Hyder in the House, and the kids and mum are preparing to keep Danny hidden from super suspicious dad for another day. After dad's tough questions yesterday, they've got to be ultra careful if they want to keep dad in the dark and bag themselves even more prizes. Today, um, I'm really nervous because dad's getting really suspicious. I have been laughing about what they've been doing, um, but they refuse to tell me what they have been doing. I hope Dad's not going to find out. I don't think he will. I think we will keep the secret and we'll try and keep as secret as we can. The day has only just begun and we've already got a problem. Dad's just popped to the shop and the kids have phoned to say there's something wrong with Danny. We have to go back to investigate, but Dad won't be long and if he comes back and catches us, 
Oh, it's game over. Guys, guys, she's in here! Oh, thank goodness. Danny, are you OK? No, I'm so weak. I've not eaten anything all day. I can't move. Oh, Danny, stop being so melodramatic. It can't be that bad. It is. Listen to this. See, I told you. She wasn't joking. We need to get this girl some breakfast and quick. Come on, move, hop it downstairs. Come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? I think that's Dad. Let's go and check. Quick, quick. Everyone in, everyone in. Time, yeah. I'll just Definitely. do a lot of sitting around. Are we ready? Okay. Quiet and still. Come on, girls, come around. Yeah. Now, can you see? Is it definitely Dad or not? Yeah. Yeah. It's him. Right, guys. This is the situation. Danny needs food, and Dad is back in the house. I think it's time for hungry hider. <laughs> So as Danny is weak with hunger, the kids need to feed her quickly. Their challenge is to smuggle food from right under Dad's nose, and they're only allowed to leave the table once each. If they manage to smuggle one litre of food to Danny, they'll be looking a million dollars with these styling products. Kids, breakfast is ready. Come in. Here come the tribe. Hello, Yves. Oh, Olivia. We've yeah, got to get out like before this. Dad sees us. Yeah, yeah, where are you sitting? OK. Joel, come on! Yeah. Quick, we've got to get to the van. This morning. Yeah. We've got a busy day ahead of us today. A really busy day. Come on, then. So, go on in. What you been up to? We've been busy. We've been playing cards. We've been playing in the garden. You have an And while Mum's covering for them, they're busy smuggling food. Oh, look! There goes Olivia with a first stash. It's a nice breakfast, isn't it, Jessica? Mm-hmm. You fill you up for a few hours. Yeah, hopefully it'll fill Danny up too. You find it quite tiring in the rehearsal. Yeah, okay. You have to keep repeating yourself. Oh, it looks like Olivia's a master of secret smuggling. Yeah, and Eleanor's been picking up on top tips. It's very difficult, actually, because even you know, time permitted uh, to get it done is quite hard. And, and you know, it's like a limited time to do it all. Yeah, I mean, always. Uh oh. Did Dad just see Eleanor smuggle some food? Phew! She got away with it. Oh, well done, girl. Wow, check out Jessica. She's a late starter, but she's going for the big one. It's a pan au chocolat down the back of her trousers. That's ambitious. <laughs> oh, well, check this out. These girls mean business. Look, Eleanor's going for the cereal. Because the airplane's only be flying at 50 feet, so... <laughs> oh, no! Dad totally saw her. Dad's a massive fan of Hyder in the house. Surely he'll recognise this challenge and guess what's going on. You're funny. <laughs> oh, Jessica. <laughs> By some miracle, he hasn't busted the kids. I don't know what Jess thinks is so funny. Yeah, now it's going to be even harder for the girls to sneak the food out to Danny. This is a disaster. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look. You want to go and get your jacket? Yeah, I got. Sorry. I got really stuck into watching this program on TV. It's quite interesting. And wow, just... it looks like Eleanor's making a sharp exit. Danny, Danny, I sneaked a lot, a lot of bread. Dad saw me sneak one, one little thing. Ah, oh, there's the first lot of food in the bowl. Yeah, but remember, they need to get a litre of food to get the prizes. Very important. Ah, oh, that's it. Warmed up a bit. Would you press on this one? I can help. Eleanor's back. Someone. And check out Jessica. She's a smashing smuggler. Yep, and Olivia's going to run out of room soon. I'm not feeling well. You're not feeling well? I'm going to the bathroom. Yeah, of course you can. Come. Yeah. Wow! Check that out again! Ladies and gentlemen, the acting award goes to... Olivia! She's all right. Ooh. Yeah, Dad, she's got a nasty case of smugglitis. Yes, there's more food in the bowl. Let's just hope it's enough. Oh, that is a lot better. We've even got an egg in there. Feel better? Mm. No. 
Right, Olivia's back. Jessica's got to get her food in the bowl. Can I go get my hair done, please? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Here she goes. Take your time, there's plenty of food. Eat slowly. Wow, she's moving fast for a girl way down with food. It's all wet in my pocket. So that's it, then? All the girls have done their smuggling? Yeah, but have they smuggled enough? Last time, you, last time you were there, we've been aged four years later. Now they've got to get Danny out of the house without Dad seeing and then go back to the van so that we can measure the food. I'm finished. You finished? Oh, they're coming out! Get the measuring jug ready. See you later. Bye. Right, be good. Right, hurry up. Get her out. Mum can't distract Dad for long. Right, they've got Danny, but can they get her out without Dad seeing? New film. Yeah. Yeah, don't go Sunday. You can do nearly there. Do Come on. on. Sunday, can't you? Danny was so close to Dad, but they got away with it. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on in, kids. Well done in the camp. Have a seat. Oh, that looks nice. Make yourself feel at home. Mmm. Lovely. Should we find out if you've got enough food? Yeah. yeah. Let's get the measuring jug. So we're looking for one litre. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I'd say you've won the prizes. Yay! Yay! Woo! And I'll tell you what, right now, you can have that, yeah? Do you know what? I might eat it later. Are you sure? Oh, I'll have it as well later. The egg looks gorgeous. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Hi, Nana. You've done what? Yeah, no problem, I'll sort it. Right. What has she done? Nana said she may have left some of her pants around the family's house. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking! No. Let's go get Nana's pants! <laughs> Naughty Nana, look what she's gone and done. She's left four pairs of pants in the house. So it's up to Danny and the girls to get them back before Dad sees them. But they'll have just three minutes and they'll need to get dangerously close to Dad. If he clocks Danny, it's game over. Luckily for the girls, we've got our cunning secret weapon to keep Dad distracted. Big Kids! Remember, Dad thinks all the cameras are here to film for our fake TV show, Big Kids, where kids get to be adults and adults get to be kids. Today, he thinks Kate, the presenter of Big Kids, has come over to interview him and Mum about being an adult. Yeah, as if. Kate's real mission is to keep Dad busy while the kids and Danny find Nana's pants. It's their toughest challenge yet, but if they pull it off, they'll win these high school musical goodies. Hi, Nana, it's Joel. Where's the first pair of pants you've left? Yeah. OK, bro. In the living room. You heard the man. Go, oh, go. Off you go. Let's get the clock. Hurry up. Keep quiet. Go. Right, the kids are going in to collect the pants, but they're being ultra-cautious. They'll need to pick up the pace to win the prizes. They're in the living room and they've got the first pair of pants. Daddy's got to get them on and get them back to us. Unbelievable! Danny is just three metres or just under two joles away from Dad. That's the first pair. Now, no, it's Joel. Where's the next pair of pants hidden? <laughs> OK, brilliant. Next pair of pants, Mama and Dad are bedroom. Go, go, go. go. Mum and Dad's bedroom. <laughs> That's where it's all gone wrong. They're going back in for pair of pants number two and they're heading straight upstairs. Plans about the kitchen. Plans for the kitchen? Oh, boring. Dad doesn't have a clue what's going on right above his head. Oh, shiny stuff. OK. Vibrant. Whatever, Dad. That's the second pair going on. Now they've got to get out of there. Pants are on. His auntie absolutely hates garlic. Mm, but will he hate the fact that there's a celebrity sneaking around his house? And that's pants pair number two. All oh, they're doing well. The downstairs bathroom. OK, bye. There's just over one and a half minutes left, and they're going in for pair number three. This is the hardest jet. The pants are in the bathroom, literally right behind Dad's back. If he sees them, it's all over. Yes, yeah, it's Oatin. Oatin's very old, isn't it? 
Amazing, Danny is just one and a half meters or one Joel away from dad. They mustn't make a sound. Right, they've got the pants. Now they've got to get out without dad seeing them. Well, Incredible. Yes. This is the closest that Danny's been to dad so far. He mustn't turn around. I'll oh, keep him talking, Kate. Yeah. That's the third pair. Come on, girls. Where's the final pair of pants? <laughs> You're joking. We can't do that. OK, bye. Nana says they're under dad's chair. These are the hardest pants of all. Like They'll have to literally get right behind dad. And if he sees Danny, it's all over. Learn an actual other language. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, they're sending in the smallest one to get the pants. Oh, good team plan. But Jess has to be so careful. Danny is incredibly close to Dad. Money. Money. Mm, that's a language, isn't it? Yeah, of sorts. Mm. Careful, careful. Spend it. She's got the pants. Now Danny has to get them on and get out. Quick. Ten. Nine. Eight. They're out. Seven. They've done it. <gasps> Lana's got to be happy. She's got her pants back. And kids, you've won the prizes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, listen, you need to go back inside. We're going to take Danny back to the van and then we'll meet you for the next challenge, which, of course, is face to face. This is the big one. Danny is going to come face to face with Dad. Kate, the super sneaky presenter of our fake TV show Big Kids, has whisked Dad back to the theatre to warm him up for his big performance. Now remember, he thinks he's about to show off his newfound acting skills in front of his friends and family. As if. Dad's actually going to be part of Danny's big challenge, but he's got no idea. Oh, I love it. We're transforming Danny into a local news reporter, and once she's in her disguise, she'll have to take a photo of Dad, talk loudly on her phone, and shake Dad's hand for 10 seconds, all without Dad realising what's going on. Yeah, and if she does it, look what the kids will win, these pocket consoles. So Dad's waiting nervously in the wings with Kate. Little does he know that he's about to come face to face with his favourite CBBC actress. Are you ready for it? I think so, yeah. All right, you need three tasks? Yes. Don't get spotted. No. You gonna do it? Yeah. High five? High five it. OK, get that heart down a bit. OK. Hi, sorry, um, do you mind if I get a picture of you two for the Queen of Gazette? Is that all right? Wow, she's straight in for the photo. Yeah, is that all right? Do you mind just getting together? Thanks, cheers. And she's done it! Yeah, but Dad looks totally suspicious. Did you see that look? <laughs> but it looks like he's too nervous to work out what's going on. Oh, Danny's taking a seat in the audience. It's about to start. And here is your star, Anthony Delaney. Woo! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's my first appearance on the stage, and it will be my last. <laughs> so please bear with this. <laughs> Baby. Gaga Google. Gaga Google. Oh, Dad, this is so embarrassing. Shh. Just think of the prizes. Toddler. Hang on, Danny looks like she's enjoying the play. Mummy, <laughs> mum. Has she forgotten about her challenges? Hello. Oh, here she goes with the phone. But his dad too caught up in his play to notice. Really rubbish play. <laughs> yeah, he looks ridiculous. All right. Ah, bye. Born. See ya. Okay, bye. Oh no. Born. Has he recognised her? No. Fond nope. Go. He's far too busy acting like a big baby. He must just think she's like some rude audience member or something. So far. Oh. Please. Danny's just got to shake Dad's hand now, but she can't do that till after he's finished. Young child. Oh no, you mean there's more. Oh, I know what you mean. I can't watch. Why have I got to go to school? <laughs> Why, Mum? <sighs> Do 
teenager. Right, he's just got to be a teenager, and then Danny can try and shake his hand. So that's it. No, I'm not bothered. No, bothered. <laughs> We're the new generation. You lot are the old generation. You know, you lot want to talk about dinosaurs. <laughs> We're the new generation, and that's it. The end. Oh, so that's it. He's finished. Now, Danny's got to shake his hand for ten seconds in order to win the challenge. But when he recognises her, she's off and she's going for the handshake. Hey, before you go, I just wanted to say that was really, really good. Absolutely excellent. <laughs> oh, come on, Danny, keep it going. Five, six, seven... He's definitely recognised her, but he mustn't say Danny Harmer or Hyder in the house. You know you love these lights. You know you love performing. Yeah. Now, Dad, I want you to read that out word for word. Who yesterday? Oh, oh. Come, on. <laughs> Come on. You like performing. I want you to read this out. <laughs> you no, no, no. Who's this, right? Tony Delaney. This, this certificate is awarded to Tony Delaney, who is officially hired by his wife, Nina, their two daughters, Olivia and Eleanor, and niece, Jess, and the whole of the Hyder in the House team. Yep. Tony, you've been hired, mate. <laughs> I've got the family remote control, which means we're back in the family home. Girls, you completed Hyder in the house. Yes! Thing was, you failed the first two challenges, and we thought you were going to be the worst family you've ever had on this show. But from there, you pulled it out of the bag, and you were fantastic. Now, first off, let's talk about Dad. Mm. Yeah. Now, the performance. Performance, first of all. I thought you were exceptional. It was very embarrassing as far well as I was concerned. There's loads that's been happening over the last 48 hours. Do you want to see what's been happening? Go on. Surprise L me. Little sneak preview. Watch this. Hiya, Dad. It's Danny Harmer here. Now, you thought you were taking part in Big Kids, but actually your wife and kids have been hiding me in your house for two days. <laughs> so, Dad, you've been well and truly deceived. For starters, that show you've been filming, Big Kids, yeah, not actually real. In fact, while you've been acting a fool, your kids have been playing the top secret, super mischievous game show that is Hider in the House. Their mission was to hide Danny Harmer right under your nose for two whole days while we were watching your every move. While you thought you'd been filming for big kids, your kids were making mess, making mischief, and hiding Danny right under your nose. And though they lost the first two challenges, they turned it all around and won heaps of prizes. <laughs> So, Dad, you have the evidence now. Danny Harmer, Tracy Beaker, has been living in your house for the last two days. Did you have any idea? I had no idea, but she's more than welcome to stay here for life. Oh, no! <laughs> There's one more challenge to do. Are you up for playing the final game? Do I yes! get gunged? Say that again? Do I get gunged? I can't hear you. Now, uh, what we need to do... <laughs> Danny, you need to go and hide one last time, so hide somewhere good in this house. Hey, will do. Don't get caught, yeah? I'll try not to. And, Dad, are you ready for the final game? Uh, yes. Dad, it's time to play. Hydra in the house. For our final challenge, we've hidden three little Dannys around the house, and it's up to each of the girls to find one little Danny each. But we've also hidden the real Danny, and it's up to Dad to find her. If they find all the Dannys within two minutes, they'll win a family trip out. Whoopee! Time to find the mini Dannys and also the real Danny. Remember, this is against the clock. Olivia, you're first. Come over here. This is your clue. Joel's favourite colour is pink. And the mini Danny is in the bathroom. Where is it? See. Go for it, go for it. Go on, Olivia, go. Oh, actually, my favourite colour is green. All right, Olivia, here we go, then. We're going for the sink. You've got to find that little Danny. One minute 50 left. Get up them stairs. Go on. Where's little Danny? Oh, in the sink. Watch that baldy cameraman. Go on, down them stairs. Come on, Olivia. Get back. 1.40 to go. Go on! <laughs> Jess, you're up next. Quick, come here. This is your clue. Listen carefully to what is said. It is hidden under Mum and Dad's... <laughs> go, go on, go, go, go! Come on, Jess. Less than one minute 30 to go. You've got to find little Danny. There she goes. She's flying. Nice crowd there this week, JK. Oh, there she goes. What are you doing? Oh, that you found it. Come on, little Danny. Down those stairs. Nice hat, mate. What are you doing? Oh, stop playing for the crowd. Right, just over a minute to go. Jess, get it back to the garden. Come on! You've got it! Yeah. Yeah. Eleanor, Eleanor, you're up next, quick. 
Those prizes will be a dream if you find it in the washing... Machine! Machine! It's the right answer, Eleanor. Oh, I tell you, I hope Mum's not left the washing machine on. Little Danny's gonna shrink. Come on, Eleanor. 45 seconds to go, you've got it. Oh, you've got it. Well done, girl. Super quick. Lightning quick. She's back. Dad, you're up. Quick, come on. This is your clue. You've nearly won, so don't get soft and go and find Danny hiding in the... Yeah! the loft! He's gone! Loft! Loft! Right, less than 30 seconds to go. If I want to be pedantic, I think you'll find he calls it the attic. Anyway, come on, Dad. 20 seconds to go to find the real Danny Harmer. How many stairs? He's going to get a sweat on. Have you got... Ned, right quick, down all of those stairs. 15 seconds to go to win the family day out. Oh, come on, Dad. Come on. Get out there. Move it. Five. Four. Three, two, one, start! <laughs> right, fantastic stuff. Now, Dad, the family have won loads of prizes. Kate, you go and get them. Okay, get them. You go and get them. Uh, the thing is, yeah. there is one thing we need to do to release those prizes, and that is push the pedal. Now, it's entirely up to you. We can go home right now and not give you the prizes, or you can sit in the chair of doom and push the pedal. <laughs> Come on, Dad, okay. sit on the chair of doom. Push the pedal. Push the pedal. Daddy, get yourself in there. Push the Nothing to do with me. Push the pedal. Push the pedal. Really hard. Last two days have been absolutely awesome. It's been really great fun, and the kids have just loved it. It was brilliant, hard, and it was exciting. I can't believe this has all happened. It's so brilliant. As for trust, sorry, kids, you're staying at home forever. You're never allowed out after nine. I won't trust you ever again. My favourite bit about the whole show was playing frisbee with your favourite DVDs. Y you what? Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you about this. Um, when you were asleep last night, I played frisbee with your favourite DVDs and some may have got scratched. Joel, you are unbelievable! It's, it's, it's not all bad news. Look, I, look, I've still got the best movie in the world, Joel starring in The Determinator. Look, we can go back and watch it if you want and I'll do commentary. JK? JK? Younger brothers of the world, join me. Habits. Join me in the fight against freaky parents. It's like cheese on toast, only with a brainy of beef. And evil, smelly brothers and sisters who make you want to bomb. So it's time, my friends. Time to take revenge. <laughs> so this is war. Yes. And it's going to get messy. What on earth are you doing now? The Revenge Files of Alistair Fury starts Monday at 4.30, CBBC on BBC One. Imagine a play. A knuckle-clenching ride round the new souped-up CBBC website is just a click away. Hold your head high, boy. You have done well in this job. Jam-packed with collectibles and downloads, games, gizmos and widgets. It's an eye-poppingly brilliant online adventure. Watch, games, create, find and grab at bbc.co.uk slash cbbc. Living some high speed moments, the best of Top Gear, tonight at 8 on 2. Back for a new series of high pressure cooking, MasterChef starts tomorrow night at 8.30 on BBC2. Back to now and something for the weekend.